Okay, I should probably stop. Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? And, uh, <clears throat> welcome back to FNAF Maker. Hey, this is a tutorial part two, finally. Uh, I realized in the last video, which, by the way, thank you for the support on that video, that's pretty awesome that it got to like 4,000 views. Anyways, um, I realized I didn't explain the cameras extremely well, so I think I'm gonna go back over that and what should be in your file folder. So let's go to that first. So first we're gonna go ahead and head to our file folder. As you can see, I have made a new one. FNAF 87. Whoa. I see. And then, uh, we can delete this. We're just gonna drag that right into the recycle bin. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. I have categorized these files into five different folders. Got cameras, so this is basically just all the images where, you know, cameras are. So I have like stage all, and then with just Freddy, and then with just Freddy and Bonnie, and then with just Freddy and Chica, and then with just Bonnie, you know, you get the idea. Anyways, I have jump scares in three different folders, all with their own frames in here. So yeah, uh, for some reason Chica has a really long jump scare, up to 19 frames. The other two just have 10. Actually be 20 frames because it's frame zero. Anyways, uh, alright, so yeah. So you should have three folders, or however many folders for however many animatronics you have, just for their jump scares and, and then their frames. Alright. Cool. Okay, the next folder should be your office. Which is just the office itself. And then the office with the animatronics in it. That's not that hard to do. Sounds. The big ones are your phone call, your fan sound, your, uh, um, you know, your title music, uh, your background noise, and your jump scare noise. Okay, and then you should have your sprites folder, which is your map, your camera button, your menu, and your newspaper. So now, you should be all ready to go. So remember, cameras, just, you know, the pictures where the cameras are. Jump scares, which you need to have different folders with their frames labeled as such. I mean, you don't have to label it that way, but it's a good way to do it. Uh, office, which should have your, um, you know, your office empty and then with the animatronics in it. Sounds, which should have all this in it. And sprites, which should have all this in it. Alright, so now I think we're good. Let's jump into the actual maker. Okay, so now that we're in here, we're gonna- oh, that's not what I meant to do. We're gonna go to edit game, we're gonna go back to our- uh, so I did a new game for this. I think you guys know how to work the office editor. Just, the big thing that a lot of people were saying is like, the office isn't working, I'm typing animatronics, and then the animatronic. With the office, you only type in animatronic, like one. Just singular. So no S. And then you put your file. It should work just fine. Uh, so this is also a look at a game I'm making. So that's pretty cool. With the withered toy animatronics and stuff. Anyways. I think it's pretty cool. So, just hit enable mask and whatnot. I think I did all these. Um, but you know what to do, just click it, and then go find the file, you'll be fine. Next is your camera editor. This is where a lot of people are having trouble. I can help you. Don't worry. Anyways, so we're just gonna do a couple cameras. We're just gonna do, uh, what was it, stage, and then game area. Okay, so you can call these whatever you want. You can call these poop, you can call these whatever you want. I would recommend calling them the actual names of the cameras. It, it may help you. 
you know, if you actually call them what the cameras are, but you can call these whatever you want. Um, you don't need an office one. I think that's all of the ones I did in my game. Oh no, I have two more. I have main hall and other hallway, we'll call it. Alright. So we have our cameras. So we're gonna do all of the empty ones. Oops. So each of these should have a state. The first state should be default, all lowercase. And it should be it with no animatronics on it. So just the camera. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge these icons. Correct. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do when you're doing this is to go ahead and make your icons bigger so you can see which one you're choosing. So, there you go. There's your basic one. And then, animatronics, plural, colon, and then in alphabetical order. So this would be body, comma, chica, comma, Freddy, and then boom. And then when you get that, you go to your cameras, and then find your stage with all of them on there. And then we're gonna do another one. Animatronics. Colon. Bonnie. Chica. Okay. And then find your image. Alright, and that should just be the one with Bonnie and Chica. Hold on, I think I'm missing something. Oh no, here it is. Okay, and then we're gonna do animatronics. And then, and you don't have to do it in the order I'm doing it, it'll all sort itself out. We're gonna do Bonnie and Freddy. <laughs> I'm just doing all the ones with Bonnie in them, and then all the ones with, you know, the next, and all the ones with Chica, and then all the ones with Freddy, you get the idea. Um, so we'll go to there, and then it is just Bonnie and Freddy. And then add another one, animatronics, colon, Bonnie. Alright, now we're gonna move on to Chica, so it'll be animatronics, Chica, Freddy, okay. And then we're gonna change the image. You kinda get the idea. Um, Electronics, Chica. You do need all of these, even if Freddy's gonna always go last, you still do need all of these in case, you know, Freddy doesn't go last one time, you know. Even though he should be less aggressive until the end. Um. So let's see, we're gonna go to our cameras, and then Chica. So there you go, so right now we have all of them, and then just Bonnie and Chica, and then just Bonnie and Freddy, and then just Bonnie, and then just Chica and Freddy, and then just Chica. We need to add one more, and that is just Freddy. And don't worry if your camera angles, like, you can see they're all a little different here. It's not going to be extremely noticeable, so you'll be fine. Um, there we go. So now we kind of have all of them. Yeah, the 
ones with Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. The ones with just Bonnie and Chica. The ones with just Bonnie and Freddy. The ones with just Bonnie. The ones with just Chica. Well, Chica and Freddy. The one with just Chica and the one with just Freddy. So now you should have all of those on. So that's how you kind of make it to where one of them can go off the stage and then, you know, the other one can stay behind. Gotta do it in alphabetical order. It has to be Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Or if it's like... Apple, Banana, Cherry, then it would be Apple, Banana, Cherry. Not Banana, Cherry, Apple. Not Cherry, Banana, Apple. Not Cherry, Apple, Banana. It has to be Apple, Banana, Cherry. So it has to be in alphabetical order. You can't do Freddy, Bonnie, Chica. You have to do Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Okay? Alright, so uh, the rest of these, it's kind of the same as the stage. You know, you just have your default. It has to be called default, can't be called anything else. And I'm just gonna do it for the rest of these. I think you understand it now. So now... Even if there's one on the cameras, it is always animatronics. Not animatronic. Okay. Just letting you know that. Alright. So you can kind of see default, and then with Chica, you know, you can see that's a little, you know, you can, it's fine. <coughs> um, but yeah, you get the idea. I'll see you guys when I'm done with this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, for, you know, minimal effort, which is what I'm doing right now, you can just have them all be on the stage and then have them all go on to separate paths. So for instance, I have Chica go to the game area, then to party room C, then to party room D, then to vent B, and then to your office. I have Bonnie go from stage to party room A, to party room B, to vent A, to your office. I have Freddy go from stage to main hall, to or to other hallway to main hall, and then to your office. So let's go ahead and do the interface editor. So we're then gonna add and change the map. So that's where you're gonna go into your sprites. <sighs> and you're gonna find your map. This is our map. Just put that right in the corner. And we're gonna add some buttons. So again, that's where you do this, and then this is right here. And the camera ID, this is where you're going to put the name of the, um, the name of the camera. So this is stage, as we named it, on the camera thing. So that's stage. Then you're going to add another button. Uh, these buttons are huge. Here, we're gonna call this game area, and then boom. And you see right here, like eventually in the final game, we're, like this is gonna be a room with Golden Freddy in it, and this is gonna be a room with Puppet in it. Eventually, but we're not there yet. <coughs> Add another button, you know, just kinda keep going with this. This button and we're gonna go right here and we'll call this other hallway as we called it the other one I didn't mean to do that we're gonna go here we're gonna call this main hall to get your buttons to work. You just need to add them and then add the ID. You can, like, 
you can see it says add programmable button. That's if you want the button to like change color or something when you click on it. You don't have to do that. This will be event A. Party room C. Add another button right here. Party room D. E. And then add one more button, which will be right here. And will be vent. things up for you with like why some of your animatronics weren't working like and like how why the image would glitch out when one of them leaves that's because it has to be in alphabetical order just remember that guys and you have to have enough for all of them so hopefully that kind of cleared your um cleared up your um questions about the camera remember the names have to be in alphabetical order and you know, you have to have them, you know, you have to have animatronics, the plural form, and then the animatronics that are in the room, and then default for when they're not, okay? So hopefully that cleared things up on the cameras. Uh, I don't think I have much to clear up on the animatronics here. For jump scare, go ahead and add frames from folder, find your... Find your folder. This is Freddy, so we'll go to this folder. Hit OK, and then we'll get all the frames there. We get the jump scare sound. Okay. Jump scare sound will be in your sounds, and I have X Scream 3, which is from FNAF 2. Okay, that's the one. Yeah. Animatronic icon is. I don't know what that is. I think it's if you want to make a custom night. You don't have to do that at all. I didn't do it for my other two games and it worked just fine. Ignore mask is if you want them to like work on a flashlight or for the doors or something. We're not gonna do that because I don't have any other ways of defending myself. And over here is the path. So it's gonna go so Freddy's gonna go stage, main hall. We're gonna go stage. Or no, actually stage. and then hit enter to save it. So now go back. So you can see now he has his thing. So now you can see on the cameras he's gonna go from the stage. Right? You can go from the stage. He's gonna go to this hallway. And he's gonna go to this hallway. And then he'll go to your office. So do that again. So this is gonna be Bonnie. Oh, one more thing I forgot to talk about with Freddy is the Night 1 AI. We're gonna put him at zero. We're gonna not have Freddy activate on Night 1, okay? Bonnie, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. Uh, you know, you just go to your folder. And then the jump scare folder I showed you earlier, and then boom, hit okay, perfect. Jump scare sound. We're gonna do X Scream 3 again. And, you know, just keep all that. He's gonna go stage. Party room A. Party room B. Vent A. Office. Enter. And his Night 1 AI is gonna be 5. Do it again for Chica. Gonna add her jump scare frames. Find her thing in the FNAF Maker thingies. FNAF 87 jump scares. She has a lot more frames. I don't know why. Make sure 
I don't think it can be a GIF. I think you have to, you know, make it into separate frames, which if you have a GIF, then you can use a GIF splitter and then make it into frames. Anyways, the path will be stage. Game area, and then it'll be uh, party room C, party room D, and then office. And we're gonna make her night one AI five, and then you're gonna go to night two. His is gonna be five. Night three, his is gonna be ten. You have to click it, you can't hold it, really annoying. Night 4 AI, his is going to be 13. Night 5 AI, his is going to be 17. And Night 6 AI, his is going to be So he's going to be inactive on night one. Night two, he's going to be low. On night three, he's going to be higher. Night four, he's going to be higher. Night five, and then night six. Bonnie, he's going to be five in, on night one. He's going to be seven night two. He's going to be ten, just like Freddy on night three. He's going to be thirteen on night four, so just like Freddy. We're going to do him just like Freddy. Night five, he's going to be uh, seventeen. Just like Freddy. You don't have to set these to these amounts. This is what we're going to do. That's what I'm planning on doing. But you can do 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Or you can do, you know. 5, 10, 13, 27, 69. I mean, you can do whatever number you want. So if you want him to be 16 or 14 on night 5 instead of 17, then you can do that. Uh, but these are just the ones I use and I recommend. And then on at night six, he's going to be 20. They're all going to be 20 on night six. And then Chica, I didn't save her path. I feel dumb. See, that's one of the things. That you have to be really careful about. is enter. You have to hit enter. Alright, and then night one, she's going to be five. Night two, she's going to be seven. Night three, she's going to be ten. Night four, thirteen. Night five, seventeen. So think of it as custom night, right? So on 5, it's pretty low, but on like 20, it's really high. You know, so think of it like custom night. Alright, so now we have all of those. So you can see those are all entered now. So that's cool. Title screen editor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the background preview. This is where you're going to get your sprites and then your menu. That's my menu. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the background music. And for this, you go to sounds. We're doing the Sand Temple Loop G. That's what um, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. That's the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 music if you didn't know and then change game titles that's the thing you can do if like what i do is i just put the game title on the preview so like this is 87 as you can see here i just put that if i wanted to then i would go to game title and just type in 87 but then that would put like an overlay on this you don't want that just you know put the title when you make the image then change the newspaper it should also be in your sprites, and there it is. So I think that should clear things up. Uh, remember, the cameras have to be 
in alphabetical order for the animatronics. The interface, you just have to make sure that the camera has the right camera ID. The animatronics, just make sure you hit enter on the path. I think that's going to clear everything up. inside your file folder what you need so let's test the game let's see if it works all right so there you go there's the title screen 87 whoa let me go ahead and do a new game it says freddy fosbury's pizza closes for good fosbury entertainment manager henry question mark question mark question mark says the company will not be opening its doors to the public anymore he says that freddy and his friends were a good memory for kids and he hates to see them go knowing how sad they'll be all right then night one we should should load up. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Perfect. Uh, hey, what the heck are you doing there? The place is closed. Uh, unless you're one of our workers trying to salvage the place. Game area. Trying to see what you can find. You know, this uh, well, in that this case, hallway. I'm gonna give you a guide on how to stop the uh, animatronics if they ever try to get into your Events. office. Because there's. I'll go ahead and mute this. So it seems the cameras are working pretty well. So let's wait for an animatronic to move. Let's see if we did it right, okay? So there you go. You see Bonnie's moved, and he should be. There he is. He's right there. And you can see Freddy and Chica are still there. So it looks like we did it right. Now you can add, like, power system and stuff if you want to. I'm not going to go over that. This video is all about clearing things up and maybe showcasing my new game. Make my connection up. So we're going to wait for Bonnie to attack us. We're going to see... Put it out there, but uh, Bonnie's about to attack us, and there you go, you see he's in the office, and now he's gone. So it seems like all of that worked. So that should do it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, share, subscribe, or don't. Hopefully this cleared things up for you all. If you still have questions, I'm free to make a part three. See, so yeah, I just remember, alphabetical order, very important. I think that's the big thing that everybody was tripping up on. And that the images need to be in your folder. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.